Uh, this is a visualization exercise called Take Nirvana. In my talk introducing Robert Fulton's films with uh, five projectors going at once, camera and recorder within range and limits can photograph and record without selection or distortion from a point of zero interference. The camera achieves a nirvana of uncritical acceptance. It rejects nothing, it clings to nothing. It fears nothing, it desires nothing. It hates nothing, it loves nothing. Camera and recorder are crude models of your own built-in equipment. You can make your own movies from a point of zero interference. Once you stop interfering, the movies move themselves. Why pay blackmail at the box office? Why not make your own movies? You have all the screens you can fill and all the projectors you need. So turn the zero camera on yourself. You never see anything else anywhere. in the middle of the middle screen where the stars traditionally shine let's put all your worst scenes all your failures and fumbles the drink you spilled all over Mrs. Worldly everything you are most ashamed of most afraid of everything you don't want anyone to see there you are with a candle up your ass right in Mrs. Worldly's drawing room. <clears throat> the camera doesn't care. Let the camera do its work. Once you get a few sample scenes on screen, the biologic computer will feed all the others in by association. One spilled drink will bring everything you ever spilled or dropped on screen. One sex scene reveals them all. One nasty cop calls up a snarling army. What are you doing in front of decent people? That's the way the biologic computer biologizes them solid on screen. Ow. Switch on another projector. All your best scenes when you were competent, deft, well-spoken, successful. You see now what you are doing. You've been desperately trying to push your good scenes on stage and shove the bad ones off stage. But it doesn't work, does it? Shove them out one wing and they jump out the other. Pop up through trap doors, leap over the footlights, swing down from the flies with Tarzan cries. Sit back and watch and you'll see something else. Your good scenes are often just you on top in your bad scenes. You've got the gun, the club, the drawing room this time. Uncontrolled slut, you snap at Mrs. Worldly as her trembling hands slop tea on your rather more than expensive Afghan rug. Well, sit back and let the images fight it out. doesn't care. Switch on another projector. Moments of serene lyrical happiness. Magic casements opening on the foam of perilous seas in fairy lands forlorn. This heath, this calm, this quiet sea. 
No need to assert yourself here. Your will is the wind's will. So many actors, so many projectors. All the people you have ever known are waiting in the wings. All your dreams, all the books you have ever read, all the movies you have ever seen. What you need with Hollywood, when you've got all of Hollywood and so much more. Five or six projectors going at once now. Sit back and watch and you will notice something else. As you stop trying to censor, edit, retouch, you're gaining more control over the show. You are the director of your own films. Who else? Now you can move a bulldozer in and scoop up Mrs. World. And wash those cops away in the Thompson Canyon flood. Or start an earthquake on them. Watch the frames overlap and shift. Watch the black extra. A one frame shot in a John Wayne restaurant. Slide over and shaft Wayne off screen. That's right, the center keeps shifting. No need to assert the way out. John Wayne isn't the wind's will. Be nice to people on the way in. Meet them on the way out. John Wayne isn't the only one getting the hook. The old school tie, the Duke of Sion, the General, the Admiral, the Square Jawed Cop, the Secret Agent, the Exercising Priest, the Devil Child, and the God struck and fret their hour on the space. What does it all mean? It means what is there on screen. No more, no less. You begin to see what meaning means. It means someone else is doing it. You are getting messages from outer space. The CIA, the board, Jesus Christ, the Communist Party. Council of Bodhisattvas, Allah, M5, Black September. You still need that? Then perhaps the camera is too much for room for you. Perhaps Nirvana is too much for you to take. Well then, report back to Casper. If you want to take Nirvana, let the camera do its work. This insubstantial pageant fate leaves not a fray behind. You are this insubstantial